Hello everyone, today we are going to see query processing. So a learning outcome for this session is students will be able to find query evaluation plan for a given query and analyze the cost of selection operation. So without index, so rather other uh, operations that we will see in the next lectures. So this is the query engine, uh, how it executes. So first query will be given to the parser and translator. So first step is parsing and translation. So query that we have written for example a SQL statement will be converted into the relational algebra expression, expression using parser. Now there can be one or more relational algebra expressions or plans for a given query. So that will be, that plans will be passed to the optimizer. So second step is that optimization in which the cost of every plan will be found or uh, find and based on that it will be decided that which plan is optimized one or is having low cost that will be passed to the execution plan. Then execution plan will pass that plan uh, that plan will be passed to the evaluation engine. Evaluation ev engine will execute that plan and the return the result of the or output will be written. So third step is that evaluation. So let us look at in detail. So first the query will be translated into its internal form. So understandable by machine. So parser checks for the syntax, find out whether the relation name, which is the relation name that has been used, are these relations are existing or not. So once it is a valid syntax, then the system will prepare parser, parser tree present, representation or we can call it as a relational algebra expression will be found. Now as we have seen that it can have the one or more relational algebra expression for the same query. Now it may be the possibility that in the instead of relation it will be view. So that view is going to be replaced by the actual expression that is used for creating view. So all this will be done in the first step. Now let us look at the example. So this is a query select salary from instructor where salary is less than 75,000. So here the relation name is instructor and again there is a no uh, error in that particular query so which will be converted into its relation algebra expression. So look at this condition is that salary less than 75,000 and projecting salary from the instructor because we have to check that salary is whether less than 75,000 or not. So same will be con is converted into this parser tree. So first at the leaf load it will be the relation name which is instructor. We are projecting salary. So as we are required only salary and then again select salary which is less than 75,000. So this is one evaluation form or this is one plan for this given query. So at this moment pause this video and try to find out the other plan. So same query for this particular query there is one more plan possible. So try to find out that plan. So I hope you have got that. So second option is that first filter out all the records less than seven, having the salary less than 75,000 and then project salary. So in the first we have just projected salary and then we have applied the condition. In the second plan we have already first selected all the records which is less than 75,000 and then we have just projected salary. But here when we are applying this condition it will select all the attributes. Whereas in this scenario it is only the salary attribute is selected and then we are filtering out the condition and that is why these two will give the same output but the cost is going to be different. So the first that parsing and translation find out all the possible plans. Now plans will that uh, parser tree representation will be more uh, enhanced in the query evaluation plan. So what does it mean that so we have to give a query or for while evaluating a query we have to provide the relational algebra expression or that has been calculated with and then we have to specify how to evaluate that expression also. So again I am coming back to this example. This is a plan or this is a relational algebra expression. Now how to project this sal uh, salary or how to select this salary less than 75,000 that specific instructions need to be given. So here that the operation which are going to be annotated with that particular instruction is called as an evaluation primitive. So that we have to specify in the query evaluation that particular plan which is called as an query execution plan or query evaluation plan. So in this case now for this instructor now we are interested in salary and the condition is also on salary. So what we are doing is that if you look at this it is written here that use index 1. So for instructor there is a primary key instructor ID so index is present for the uh, ID also secondary index is present for the salary 
and for while we selecting that salary less than 75000 use index 1 which will be more efficient than using the uh, first primary index and that's why it has been mentioned over here so which index should be used how to retrieve the records that has been specified in query evaluation plan okay in query optimization now as we have seen there is a different evaluation plus and uh, plans and obviously different cost will be there so in query optimization among all the equivalent plans the plan which is having the low cost or the lowest cost is going to be estimated how it has, has to be estimated so it has to use a statistical information for example how many number of tuples are present in that relation what is the size of every tuple what is the, again the other measures are there so that we are going to see while calculating the cost but these are some catalog information which is going to be used for finding the cost of the every plan and then with the plan which is having the lowest cost that will be selected for the execution okay so in detail now we have to see how to calculate the cost so sorry the parameters used for this query evaluation will be in terms of number of resources like this access cpu time to execute a query cost of communication and so on or the disk cost can be ex, uh, estimated as number of six number of block transfers so in that block transfer it can be block read or block write okay so that we have to consider but here we are going to concentrate only on two measures one is number of block transfer and other one is number of seek operations also the other assumption is that uh, data will be always read from initially from disk so it may be the possibility that data is available in buffer but we are assuming that every time initially data will be read from the disk so one seek operation will be required that time and the write time and read time cost though ideally it is different but here it is assumption that it is going to be same so with this assumptions we are going to calculate the cost of the query so there are two times one is a time average time to transfer one block of data and the other one is access time okay so it is going to be the disk seek, seek time plus rotational latency so based on this previous again measures that is the number of block transfer and number of six the cost of this particular query will be b into tt plus s into ts means that how many blocks that we need to transfer into the time required for block transfer one block transfer plus number of seek operations into time required for one seek operation now this ts and tt will depend on where the data has been stored what does it mean that for example assume that block size is a 4 kb and if the data is stored on high magnetic high end magnetic disk then the time required for seek operation is 4 milliseconds whereas time required for block transfer is 0.1 milliseconds that has been found by the experiment if the data is stored on ssd then the time required is less as compared to magnetic disk so ts will be 20 to 90 microseconds and tt will be 2 to 10 microseconds so based on the hardware your time will be different now first we will select, uh, start with select operations obviously we have to see the select operation join operation sorting and so on so that we will be uh, looking in the next lectures so what is a selection operation so it will be like a file scan which is the lowest level operator to access the data so for example select star from employee so i have to go through this complete employee relation so from the first to the last record so it is like search algorithms that locate and retrieve lo uh, records which fulfill a condition so select star from employee where salary is less than 75000 so all the records which is fulfilling the conditions that will be retrieve retrieve it allows the entire relation to be read in those cases where the relation is stored in a single dedicated file that is nothing but the file scan and we are going to use this at the basic level first also attribute or set of attributes which are used to look up the record is generally called as called as a key that we already know so we will start with first linear search so here in selection operation so consider the query that selects are from employee where salary is equal to 30000 so which records will be qualified <coughs> so if look at this particular uh, relation here so what it will do is that it will bring the first block of the uh, relation to the memory it will check for all the values of the salary and which is satisfied that will be added to the result or i will be output as in result so here each block will be checked so first block will be checked here it is one record which is present with the salary equal to 30000 second block will be then 
uh, see assume here it is an assumption that it is containing uh, one block contains one record and memory fits only three blocks that's why we are taking here in the first as three blocks then next three blocks and next three blocks and so on till the file will not exhaust so first three records or the blocks will be brought to the memory condition will be checked and the records will be taken into output if it is satisfying the condition so here in this example first block qualifies only one selection or the one record in the second block is also having the one record and in the third block it is we are having the one record so all these three records will be retrieved as a result now really linear search will be applied regardless of the condition that is the selection condition also ordering of the record so whatever may be the ordering it doesn't matter when we are going for linear search because we are going starting from first record till the last record and then availability of the indices here we are not using any index for that if the file is too long or if it is not stored continuously then we require many seek operations otherwise if the uh, file is stored continuously then we will require only one seek operation to start with and then all the blocks will be brought to the main memory that's why the cost of this uh, operation will be ts plus that is the time required for the only one seek operation plus br into tt so it is going to be one plus now three blocks has been uh, brought to the memory that's why it will be one plus uh, sorry not one ts plus three vt so depending on the ts and tt the cost will be calculated the second thing is that consider now this query select star from employee where employee id is 1004 okay now here employee id is a key attribute in this case whenever the record is found it will not go further because as it is a key attribute it will be only having a single qualifying record so how it will be executed first block again will be brought to the main memory so employee id 1004 is not present in the first block that's why it will go for the second block in the second block the first tuple itself is having the employee id of 1004 then this will be retrieved and then this, uh, this particular selection will stop it will not go further for the next block because there is only a unique record present in this particular relation so average time will be br by 2 so if there are three blocks again so 3 by 2 so 1.5 that is two blocks needs to be transferred we are going to use seal operation of course and the time required for tt and ts but the worst case what can be the worst case so select star from employee where employee id is equal to 1008 if this is a query all blocks need to be read to retrieve the record so the time will be same that we are into tt so this is how the linear search will be used and the cost required for the selection operation using linear search thank you